Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Sunday, February 26th, and this is the weekend market overview looking at the Dow SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXA, GLD, SLV, XOY, XLF, GE, Apple, and anything else that I just forgot. <laughs> all right. Okay, so Friday, all over the map once again, ending with a little doji star. No downtick in the short-term moving averages. 14-day RSI moving average is still ticking down, getting to the 80 line, and uh, maybe now is the point where uh, we'll actually get some uh, some movement, but uh, it remains to be seen. Uh, Stochastic still st still uh, holding high, CCI ticking up, RSI ticking down, MACD ticking sideways, and MACD histogram ticking sideways. A very mixed bag. Um, SPX, a little better than the Dow, ending with a, uh, if the uh, tail was longer, we'd have a gravestone doji, but uh, nope, we don't. So uh, just a uh, very small fat body inverse hammer, no downtick on the short-term moving averages, 14-day ticking down, stochastics ticking sideways, uptick on CCI, downtick on the RSI, uh, slight tick on the MACD, actually slight uptick on the MACD, and a slight uptick on the MACD histogram. So, not much to see here. Just uh, there just isn't uh, the Nasdaq. Very uh, micro, almost a Doji star. 14-day RSI moving average ticking down, stochastic ticking sideways, uptick on the CCI, down tick on the RSI, side tick on the MACD, side tick on the MACD histogram. Nothing to see here. Just, uh, yeah. Nothing to work with. And I mean, work with on the upside or the downside, really. I mean, it is at a uh, pretty critical juncture where it could be, um, could be, uh, where is this what I'm looking for? possible double top if you look back all the way back to May. So certainly there should be some resistance here, but uh, we're just waiting to see if that uh, if that plays out. And uh, there's just not too much to say until it goes one way or the other. Um, the VIX. Nice green day. No uptick on the short-term moving averages. 14-day RSI moving average still marching on up. We've been saying that we were expecting there to be a uh, turnaround of the stochastics here at the bottom go up meet the 14 day rsi and then we'll have a good move but uh, cci still ticking down rsi ticking up macd histogram ticking down and macd ticking essentially sideways and uh, we were saying uh, if this were to break down at the bar uh, enough that we'd be expecting a retest of the floor. We're very close to that right now. And, uh, you know, is this going to be enough to count as a retest of the floor? Maybe. But uh, we just don't know yet. I mean, it's, it is awful close. But um, don't have to tell you. Just waiting for these uh, secondaries to catch up with the primary. And then we should have some, uh, some good fireworks. Um, XOI, oil. Very nice move in oil once again, gapping up right at the uh, upper Bollinger Band, backing away, being above it part of the day. We have no down tick to work with. The 14 day still has not turned around. You'll notice that it is still pointing up. Uh, stochastics locked in the upright position along with the CCI. The RSI is heading down but still above uh, overbought. Uh, MACD ticking up, MACD histogram ticking sideways. It would be really nice to see a reversal in oil sometime soon so that uh, the market can take a hit. Um, over the weekend, the Saudis said that they're going to increase output to uh, account for any shortage caused by Iran. Is that going to be enough to uh, relieve prices at all? It remains to be seen. I mean, they've said that before. Um, it's nothing really new to it. Uh, Apple, trying to get a better read on... Uh, the NASDAQ and uh, no indication of weakness as of yet. 14 day RSI moving average still ticking up, stochastics pointing up, CCI pointing up, RSI pointing up, MACD pointing up, MACD histogram slight tick down. We have no downtick, we have a little bit of excessive separation, but uh, really 
Nothing to work with. Ugh. What a broken record, huh? GE. Trying to get a better read on the Dow. Um, we had on Thursday the downtick, which was resolved intraday. And uh, even if it hadn't, it would have been resolved on Friday. So, um, yeah, just kind of fun. Uh, 14 day RSI moving average ticking down, stochastics looping over, CCI ticking up, RSI ticking down, MACD histogram, very slight downtick, very slight downtick on the MACD itself. Um, when is this going to catch up with the actual price? Well, we're above the upper price consensus level and it is showing uh, some resilience at that point. We need to break below that and go in for a bar retest and a test of the major price consensus level at 18.8. .8. Um, TNA kind of uh, moving out of order today. A little red candle, nothing big. Still in this uh, this little range that we have here, waiting for it to break down. Uh, if it does break down, um, very important level will be 5860. And if that is breached, then I think that we'll be in. Uh, Good shape for a retest of the 200-day moving average. 14-day RSI moving average ticking down. Stochastic somewhat mixed, but uh, kind of pointing down. Uptick on the CCI, downtick on the RSI, downtick on the histogram. I'm sorry, down on the MACD, and up on the histogram slightly. Very mixed, and it is a spinning top. No downtick. XLF, the financials. Well... Fat body spinning top. We do have a downtick. Downtick is only a few pennies away. Not a big deal. Uh, 14 day RSI moving average ticking down. Uh, stochastics ticking down. CCI ticking up. RSI ticking down. Down on the MACD. Downtick on the MACD histogram. Um, at some point, you would think that it will break this range and go in for a bar retest, which will actually be converging here very shortly. Um, Boy, there just isn't too much to say. You just have to wait until it actually makes its move. UUP. Oof, look at that. Going in for the retest of the 200-day moving average. Um, if that were to fall, holy moly. Terrible. Uh, well, terrible for the bears anyway. And uh, if it does break the 200-day moving average, then perhaps we'll be going in for a retest of the floor way the heck down here at the... Uh, let's get a really good read on that. I'm doing it the difficult way. At 2107. 2107. Woo, that would be quite a run in the market if it was able to accomplish that. And we're going to see if it does that here very shortly. 14 day RSI moving average ticking up, stochastics on the way down, trying to meet up with it. Very low on the CCI, down on the RSI, down on the histogram, down on the MACD. Oof. FXE. Ah, here's a warning sign. Clearly well above the upper Bollinger Band. Um, 14 day RSI moving average, yes, it is a slight tick up. Stochastics already overbought in uh, meeting up with the 14-day RSI moving average. CCI massively high. Whoo! Uh, RSI getting to the overbought line but not crossing it yet. MACD very strongly up. MACD histogram very strongly up. This should move down or to the side to get back inside the upper Bollinger Band. So I would imagine that we should have at least a pause. Um, it's just insane how, how strong the euro has been in the last couple of days. I think it's completely ridiculous, but uh, it is what it is. Could it be going up for a test of the 200-day moving average? I should certainly hope not, but uh, anything is possible. GLD, the second VIX. Almost a downtick, but not quite ending with a fat body spinning top. 14-day RSI moving average ticking down. Stochastics very high. CCI high. RSI ticking up. MACD ticking up. MACD histogram sideways. And it's either the dollar or fear, which causes, or both, which causes uh, 
goal to go up and it's not doing too shabby at this moment uh, but look at that uh, excessive separation very clear there is a bubble here SLV mm. it needs to have a uh, full large green candle above the 200 day moving average to confirm all of this but it did end right at the upper Bollinger Band spinning top 14 day ticking down uh, stochastics very high down on the CCI up on the RSI up on the MACD up on the MACD histogram um, very interesting because even though it looks to be overheated in many different ways having a, a uh, large green candle above this may actually even be able to turn everything around so it can get locked in the upright position I personally don't think that that will be the case but um, we're gonna have to see and I think that that is going to be about it um, we need more data you know I'm sorry that uh, there isn't more but um, you know, being locked into these little ranges, these little melt-up ranges, is just no fun. We need to have a proper sine wave of the market restored, and then uh, things will be much simpler. But uh, for the moment, it just is not uh, playing by all the rules. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.